In today's video, we'll be taking a look at typing notifications using the JavaScript SDK. Typing notifications are a way to let users know when you're typing a message to them, and they're particularly important when you're building a real-time application. So what we'll do is set up a start typing notification as well as a stop typing notification, and then create a message listener that will basically listen to the state changes, and you can apply different UI effects depending on how you're building your application. Let's just get started. We'll start on the Comet Chat website, where we'll head to developers and then to documentation. Here, I want to head over to SDKs. And after that, I want to select the JavaScript Web SDK. We're going to head over to Messaging. And under Messaging, we're going to head over to Typing Indicators. Here, we've got the documentation for Typing Indicators, which we'll be following as part of this video. Now, for Typing Indicators, these are something that you'll use if you want to let a sender and receiver know who's typing. In order to do this, we'll be using the start typing method. This will inform a recipient that the logged in user has started typing. This can also be used as part of a group conversation, which we'll get into later. The way it works is that we use the typing indicator class. And this class here will pass in a user ID of the user you're talking to, and it will include the receiver type. We can do group types here where we would pass in the group ID instead. After that, we have a stop typing indicator, and both of these work by combining with a listener. Now, this listener is mainly for real-time information where you want to trigger an event to show that the typing indicator has initialized. We use a messaging class with the on typing has started as well as on typing has entered methods to be able to register different UI interactions. All right, enough theory. Let's jump into VS Code and try this out. I've got the latest version of our VS Code here with this project that we've been working on on the last few videos. You can download this in the description below. Here, we're going to utilize our very first typing indicator method. This method is to let people know that we've started typing. In order to do this, we first have to define who we're letting know. In this case, we need a receiver ID. Now, I'm just going to do the receiver ID as Adrian since I want to let myself know that I'm typing. In other cases, you could put in a different user or a different group. Once we've defined this, we need to set the receiver type. This is simply by setting the value for receiver type here as comma chat dot receiver underscore type dot user or group if we're working with a group. Next, we need to define the variable for the notification. So what we're going to do is define typing notification equals new space comma chat dot typing indicator. Here we'll pass in the receiver ID as well as the receiver type. And this will basically initialize this class for use to show once we begin typing. Now, in order to kick this off, we need to call comma chat dot start typing. We'll pass in this class that we've created, and this will kick off any type of notifications that we want through our listeners, which we'll be setting up very soon. Now, in this case, we've set this all up raw, manually kicking off a typing indicator. But to do this properly, you would want to do it as part of a text input where you've defined whether someone has hovered and focused in on a, that input and whether they have actually started to type. Then you can kick off this process or have full control over it depending on how you want to set it up. If the user has finished typing, we'll also need to call a method to let the typing indicator know that they've finished their typing session. To do this, we'll pass in comma chat dot end typing with the typing notification that we were using previously. This is where the typing notification can be important if you have different types of messages going to different types of groups as well as users. Beautiful. We can now set up the real time typing notification listener. This listener will basically kick off an action every single time that the typing notification has been triggered, and we can update the UI however we want. The first thing we're going to do is define a listener ID. For the listener ID, I'm going to pass in typing underscore indicator underscore listener. Here, I'm going to define comma chat dot add message listener. I'll pass in the message listener ID, and then I'm going to pass in a new space comma chat dot message a listener. We're going to have two methods here we're going to be listening for. The very first will be on typing started. Here we want to pull out the typing indicator as a variable which we're going to be using to essentially grab more information. 
we're going to console log this out for the time being. But in your own app, you can actually use this to change the state of your UI as well as the typing notification that you want to display. The next thing that we want to define is the method for when the typing stops. So here we'll define on typing ended. We're going to pass in the typing indicator one more time. And we're going to also console log this out. Again, this is where within your UI, you would make your changes, basically showing that the user on the other side of the console has stopped typing. But since this is a simple example, we're just going to console log this out and view the typing indicator and what kind of information we get across. Let's do a quick summary. We kick off a typing notification with comma chat dot start typing. This gets captured by the listener, which listens to typing started and changes the console or the UI state. And you can use lots of different listener IDs to create any type of UI changes you want. Let me open up the Chrome debugging tools so we can have a look at the typing started and ended. When we open up the object, we get quite a few different variables here that we can look at. We have the receiver ID as well as the receiver type, which is Adrian and user. We also have metadata. This is something that we can define before we kick off a typing notification. We also get the same sort of information for the typing ended details. This can be all used to update the UI based on how you want to set up your application. Typing indicators are pretty simple when it comes down to it. The only main thing that you need to implement is a little bit of UI changes where you have those three little dots to showcase when a person is actually typing when you're implementing it. In the next video, we're going to take a look at how to do delivery alerts. These are basically alerts to let people know once a message has been delivered or once it's been read. If you're looking for that video, you'll be able to find it just up here. Awesome.